And we're off. Let's go. Let's go. Hype in chat. KP, people arrive. <laughs> KP, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the most exciting part of the run is immediately. Only 50 seconds. Pay close attention. Yeah. This is where you save frames. Or lose them. <laughs> if there's any time to save time in the whole run, it's right here. Oh, Gwonky didn't skip the cutscenes because she was, um, pinging her Discord. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. Wait. No, yeah. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, you are correct. Yep. And... Uh, Lep's, Le Lep is just paused so we can get the oh, okay. synced up. I got so scared. Our lovely restreamer, so we know she is uh, doing God's work here. Making sure that they aren't too mismatched, mismatched in the time. That's so nice to have the timer sing. Yeah, especially because when the runners are actually um, at the same point at the same time, you just get this lovely sync, which is so satisfying. Um, Something to note with uh, the bench I put it right there. Um, it's based off of frames. Both of these runners have really good frames, so they don't have to like wait as long before jumping. But left went like really far left. I don't know. That's just what he does to be safe. And I, I mean, it makes sense for his. Left did get more RNG than Quan. So yeah. Bit but looks like a uh, low 51 for Gwonky and a low 52 for left. So taking apart already. Is I think we might just call it there. <laughs> like, yeah. Turns out the race was for King's Pass the entire time. Oh. <laughs> the King's Pass tourney. Have we seen we'll be... race? I don't think we have. We'll be moving into crossroads now. We'll see if uh, either of the runners get unlucky and get hit on the way down and grass drop in the next room. That would be unfortunate, so let's uh, hope that doesn't happen. Ooh. Okay, Quonky taking a hard fall, left taking a damage, so it looks like they came out about even from that. Taking damage is worse. The runners now be moving into the Aspid Arena. Will they be attempting to do double spike? Going to get the clean one, and so does Lep. They have definitely practiced this plenty of times. It's a very uh, tight trick, but it's reliable once you get it down. The real thing about double spike is the buff jump. Like, when you get into range at the spike, and then you have a little bit of um, lead way with actually hitting the spike. Next little trick coming up, we're gonna have the statue pogo room, uh, where uh, you can also go for a tech hit pogo, but I assume that neither runner will be doing that. Nope. Gosh, Both that was get a, clean one, though. a really good statue pogo from Wonky, like she barely went new shot. Yeah, I know she was grinding room sub for uh, that one a bit, so definitely has some practice on greeting. <laughs> grinding the room sub with statue pogo so pace. Yeah. Next up here we'll have uh, False Knight, which is the first boss of the game. It's a uh, pretty simple boss fight, especially since we uh, there's a built-in skip in the game that just requires you to stagger uh, the boss once with uh, 13 hits, and then you, uh, once you uh, go to the next phase and it does it slams, it breaks open, cracks the wall, and left it. Straight up skip the rest of the boss fight, allowing us to move straight into the vengeful spirit uh, in mound. Um, Aki gonna be getting a 29 here, and Lep gonna be getting a high 30. Very even though, within a second of each other already. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's just all KP. What can I do? <laughs> this is true. That is the time difference. Oh. I'm glad they both did up slashes on false night. Um, instead of like their six head being a forward slash and they get knocked back, they do an up slash. It's like 0.1 slower, right? Maybe a little less. I haven't timed it myself, but yeah. Something like that. But yeah, you can save like 70% of the time that false night jumps back, so it's just better. 
coming up to mound here. We will be uh, seeing both of the runners going uh, or hoping for good RNG at the uh, Elder Boulder at the end of mound. Which has a 50-50 chance of either spitting an infection blob or a boulder at you which you uh, need in order to cast the fourth Vengeful Spirit and kill it. No under Platy K, unfortunately. That trick is bad and it saves like three frames. Uh -huh. Second spit for Bonky, I believe that was a third for Lep, but he also made the boulder close for a second, I think, by moving too close, so he's gonna lose more time to that. Meaning we're now about four seconds apart. Bonky in the lead. Lep has just been starting to go for the nail cancel. Um, but yeah, that's like equivalent to a fourth spit from Lep and a second from Bonky. Wait, no. Did she get a first or second? Second. Okay. Yeah. Bonky getting through the grass room with a lot of soul, so we'll be very comfortable going in here to the main path. Very nice uh, insta kill on the, the second boulder for both runners. There's a, there's a trick you can do here that you just saw them do, where if you um, aggro the Elder Boulder and then move far enough right and shoot a Fireball into them, the Fireball hitbox gets stuck at the end in them and will kill them off immediately. And it's just a nice trick that just makes the split so much more consistent. Next, coming up here, we will have the first uh, double fireball uh, skip. I'm curious to see if either runner will go for a single fireball. Quanky does not. And Lep does not. I think Lep might go for a single one on the end. Yeah, Lep usually does go for a single on the second one. And yeah, you can see Quanky goes for the moss charger at the bottom. Lep does not, because Lep is going to do a single fireball here. But Quanky does a double. See it. Uh, the first one is a little bit easier, and it's not by much, but the, sec uh, the second one's easier, or the last one is easier, like, for your jump, because you, like, have to jump later. Yeah. Runner's both going for the trick where you, um... Get you uh, jump up towards the Moss Knight after waking it up, and it makes it jump back, and you get a double hit with the Fireball. And both runners got that as well, which is nice. Very even race so far. Still only about three seconds apart, so I'm curious to see how uh, Moss Knight and the Hornet RNG will affect that. It can just be at some time. Like, you can literally just lose six seconds for no reason. Yeah. Both runners getting bad Moss Knight RNG. Uh, uh, left trying to do the new strat, but it didn't work amazingly. Yeah, there's a recently discovered strat where you can make the the left Moss Knight jump to the right in order to go for extra nail cancels on the final rock to lose less, less time, but didn't get it this time. <laughs> We're moving into Hornet here now. Nail throw immediately from, for Gwonky and for Lep. Same RNG. That Both right. getting doubles afterwards as well. Should be dead right here. Yeah, I believe Lep's was slightly slower, but both were extremely good Hornet fights. These are both uh, low 44 Muffin Cloaks, which is very good. Yeah, for her race, that's just so good. And like a 741 from Gwonky, which, you, I mean, it, even anything just close to 3x is just really good. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's biting my cape, man. Next up, we'll be having the, the claw split, which is a fun, fun movement split with very little RNG, so it's one that you can sort of show off your, uh, your skill and consistency. Uh, Gwonky was practicing Fireball though, um, I'm hoping that we see it with yeah. Fireball should be. And yeah, like, later in the split yeah. we'll be, uh, we'll see the, the 
explosion poke, as it's known, where, which is a trick with many different variations, where you essentially skip going to the right side and going through all of the mantises wow. before the mantis, wow. mantis wow. village itself. Wow. So there's a sporg there that shoots a ball, uh, one of those exploding balls, which you can, on this patch, pogo both the ball and the explosion itself. And we use that to skip about 30 seconds worth of uh, running. Yeah, uh, Lep missed the uh, little guy, so he's gonna do Wii Pogo, and he uh, dunked. So. Yeah, it's really solid, did, did take a dunk. Here, here we are, coming up on the explosion Pogo. We're going for the fire Pogo. Hits it cleanly, nice. very nice. Lep, not going for fire Pogo. Ball. Yeah, he the, guy. the Wii Pogo, as it's known, where you instead dash into it and damage tank it, and then Pogo it. Such Queen a good Mantis, track. Queen Mantis Pogo, which is nice to see from both runners. And then there's a trick here we do called Mantis Early Control, where you bait this Mantis into hitting you right after you pick up the claw, which will allow you to get control early and quit out, which saves about two seconds. I feel like it's more than two seconds, but that could just be... I believe it was time there. to be plus six the split and plus uh, minus two on uh, grass, but we might have gotten better at creating it, so it could be more actually, because that's an old timing from when it was first discovered. I feel like when I miss it, I just lose so much time. I mean, I obviously, like, mess up a jump or two before I... Yeah, usually if you miss yeah. it, though, you are going to be losing the time you would have spent to set it up as yeah. well. So you lose the, the full, like, eight seconds on top of the time spent setting up. Hatched out before it was discovered. Well, that is true if you have the mentality of a current patch runner. <laughs> but for yeah. us cheaters that go on one two two one, anything is possible. This is true. All right, both runners gonna be heading on to Grass Mother here. I see that um, Guanqi has a very comfortable amount of geo to not have to pick up any extra during the run, uh, while Left will most likely have to get the level lads in city. Which I know he has said he likes to do and thinks it's just better to do anyway, because then you don't have to bother with them, because they can be a little annoying. Left did thumbnail cancel, and then two more with the slash in between. But I don't. Because. Wait. Because the fireball pushes you back, so you have to wait to get another nail. <laughs> So you know, can't uh, do the first one at max range. Did not see what happened, but uh, I saw both runners uh, kill all but one Gruss in the uh, in the cleanup we do, uh, and they got a nice two slash to kill it after, which means they both are very even after that. And now we're moving on to the uh, shade skip that gets us into Blue Lake where uh, the runners will go buy Shaman Stone, Rescue Sly, and then Damage Tank and uh, and die intentionally. No! Oh, dude, they both died. <laughs> Whatever shall they do. Frick! Oh, would you look at that? Suddenly in Blue Lake. Oh. Are these new strats? Gwonky, Gwonky went for... Uh, or They're both going for... One slash Wolfing Storage at Blue Lake, and both managed to get it. There's a specific setup there where if you dash into a ledge on the ceiling and do a nail slash, it sets your pixels up perfectly in a way that allows you to use a, a minor glitch called Wolfing Storage that does what you just saw, where it basically just speeds them up during the rest of Blue Lake. Oh no, no, I'm gonna disconnect. <laughs> My cat is. Oh. All right, well, we will be heading into uh, the dream platforms here.
gonna be uh, gonna be interesting to see. I think I believe both uh, runners are doing pest plats now because it's just a uh, it's an easier variation that it doesn't save time technically, but in most cases it ends up because you don't have to be as perfect with the rest of your movement. So we'll see both runners here at the very start. There's a, a dash you can do that allows you to land on one of the platforms and just go immediately instead of having to do some awkward uh, wall jump or anything. And then, uh, yeah, Guanqi going for... I didn't see if that was pest plots, but I believe it was. Lep going for them here. Getting a little close there, having to do a wall jump on one of the platforms. But both runners here getting about... Gwonky getting a bit under 13 minute Dream Nail, and Gwonky getting just about 13 minutes flat. Very good for a race. Gwonky, like at 12.54. Oh, sorry, I didn't... Yeah, right. She was actually a fair bit ahead. That's very good. Yeah, for a race, that's just so good. Yeah, so I got bad cat RNG, so I unfortunately <laughs> removed. We'll see both mm -hmm. runners here. Uh, Trick Guanqi ends up missing it. We'll see if Lep hits it. There's a wolfing storage you can do here. Certain uh, downwards transitions. If you fling the wall, or touch the wall rather, on the way down, it sets up a frame perfect trick where you can do what Lep just did and jump and you get wolfing storage. And it allows you to save about two seconds in the room after. So it's a very big trick to hit, which will help Lep catch up a little bit here, as he is currently behind. Okay, this is bad for Gonky because she's at 4 HP, I mean 3 HP, and she's not in the room yet. Yeah, so... Gonky does, or sorry, Lep, Lep does get hit on the um, drone mm. pickup, but Gonky gets hit again. Yeah, so I think oh, no. Gonky's just gonna play it safe here, um, not like go for anything like risky with like the new fireball strat and rose might just kill them here actually okay it does not I go for the to... turnaround slash either neither does left because the big husk was too far to the left man it's just so hard like i still can't do it consistently i don't know why i believe or i i do it very consistently at this point but uh oh. yeah you can't always go for it yeah maybe like i need to like no, because that um, hitbox of the husk is like bigger than everybody. Uh, or yeah, like, taller. for some reason, I discovered this randomly, and I'm glad it turned into something useful. That uh, um, gluttonous husk in that room has a taller hitbox than all the other ones in the game for some reason. <laughs> um, so I'm glad it turned into something useful that you can actually turn around and slash it, even though I didn't get to see it here. Um, okay. I think Gorky knows she's ahead. Oh, she got stuck in the dark room. Okay, she's good. Um, oh wait, we're like... Ooh, here. now we're back to... Now, uh, Lip takes the lead with that. Wow. By wait. a couple seconds. It was still walking storage. Okay, Lep is just having a really good chandelier, I guess. Because they were behind, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lep, Lep hit the walking storage, got a good journal room, good G-husk room. Definitely, uh, meanwhile, won't get some trouble. So now, this... This watch knife means a lot. Nice start from both uh, runners. Nail cancel here. Oh wait, is it? No, it's not the right pattern. Lep, Lep did miss one nail hit at some point because that uh, pattern yeah. you should be able to uh, kill off a little earlier, but... Yep. It's good. Getting left fire on. Oh, missing. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Walking Very hard to pay attention to both. I'm trying to pay attention to both at the same time. And it's hard. Yes, I do. But both look pretty good overall. Lips look very clean. I think Quanky is having a little bit more trouble with them. I think he's just having worse RNG. Yeah, that might also be the case. Um, Lips here looking very good. Oh, down to 1 HP though. Little scary. Does get them stacked though. Oh, they're both on HP. Yeah, I, okay. But left does finish it up. Oh, Guanqi. That was okay. okay. Both, but they both make um, it, and they're both very close. Yeah, left is ahead by about. Left is now ahead seconds. by yeah. Chad, I swear. Yeah, four four seconds now. Left making up about ten seconds in the last two splits. Very big. 
this this race is living up to expectations so far for sure. I didn't pay attention, but these are both just insane watch night times. Like these are just both ahead of my PB, which was just low 35, 31 5 x pace. And these, these are both are... 1 4 x pace paces right now. Mm -hmm. These 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 are definitely uh, the I think these might be rough to get a 31 out of at this point, but these are definitely still uh, low 32 able. Um, I'll pay attention to Lantern Sweat, but for reference, if they get like a 1945, like that's easy 31 pace. Yeah, like that is so easy 31 pace. Here we'll see Lep going for another one of these uh, Wolfgang Storges, but does mess it up. This one, instead of jumping at the bottom, you just do a dash. Uh, Boinky does hit it, though. It saves uh, about 0.3 now with the, our new tech where you uh, don't grab the wall going through a transition because you stop that by up or down slashing. Oh, did it only say 0.2 before? Yes. Yeah. But I hit it often enough that I still go for it, but because I don't feel it. I feel like it's easier somehow. I don't know if I haven't tested it though. But either way, we're going to be making our way over to one of the more recent and uh, recent additions additions to the run, uh, which uh, Skate here is responsible for actually. Uh, the oh, Rafters okay. reroute. So we will see now if the runners will be going for right or left side. I, I think both runners are going to be going right side. Uh, and this 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 is a big reroute that now this this is the hardest non-boss room in the game. Ooh, Lep. Oh, doesn't have enough soul. No. Quonky gets it. Quonky okay. gets it. That um, that's that's fair. Oh gosh. Oh no, left getting the worst of it. Getting hit to the left, doesn't manage to recover the right side, and then messes up the left side skip as well, which loses a lot of time. It's down to 1 HP now as well, which it is just... very scary because you can uh, just get hit by RNG. Yeah. Okay, we're fine. Does make it through just barely. Should also be fine because he has a safer strat here for the heavy sentry. Won't even risk it, goes for the heal. Uh, husks should be dead in lever room, right? Uh, I did not see who killed me. He fireballed them. Okay, Quonky uh, did not, though, so I was a little scared there, but uh, they were on the right side. That is just so unfortunate, man. Yeah, that was so unfortunate to see there. Side damage tank is so hard to uh, recover. Uh, Lep tried to recover it, but they didn't have enough soul going in to actually get the three... to be able to do a three fireball recovery. Yeah, Gwonky moving into the King Station here. We'll be going for a, uh, a trick known as uh, Fire Bell, where you... Uh... By the toll, you move out of the room and back in, and then shoot a fireball, which rings the bell, and then you move back out and back in again to skip the animation of the stag uh, coming out, which saves, I don't remember how much, about a second in King Station, I think. Did the skate movement, let's go. So did Gwonky. Yes! <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, this is a 1958. That's... So, technically 31 base, it's probably not going to happen, though. Yeah, this is a hard one. This this requires uh, cooperation of the highest level from uh, Umu and uh, the Hollow Knight. Cooperation of the highest level. That's so true. <laughs> true. Left getting a 2018, so that's about a 1x pace. 20 seconds apart now. Yeah. With that. Maybe a little 2x. But Lep's late game is just insanely good, so you never yeah. know. This is also one of the most um, interesting uh, splits of the run here in terms of like movement. The Crystal crystal Peak. You know, both of these runners are insane at it. Gwonky, the current console holder, and uh, Lep, the one before that. So, both of these yeah. runners are very consistent at hitting all of these hard tricks. Very... Uh, 
right there. Got a two chain Quanky hits the the Pargax. Quanky will be going for the dark cycle here, where you manage to get ahead of one of the enemies here. Does make it. If you're fast enough, that's a very hard trick. I can't hit it mo like the majority of the time. So they make it look very easy here, <laughs> but it's not. It's extremely hard. Yeah, this is probably the second hardest room in the game. There's a delay pogo strat they do. Guanky missed it and Lep missed it. It makes it so that that laser that Lep just got hit by it doesn't appear if you're low enough, but if you're high enough, you can just get hit or get lucky with RNG. Yeah, Lep also did miss the dog cycle, so. But he Oops. got optic. So... Yeah, but it did get hit before that, so it looks like uh, Gwonky will most likely be furthering her lead in this clip. Let's see, uh, this is a 1958. That's a good, like, um, place for top level runners is a sub-159. I'd say for lab, maybe like a consistent, like, one, low 158, 157. Yeah, 2155. Crystal Heart for Guanqi. Very good. So, 157, uh, yeah, in our race, that's just really good. And yeah, CP we... is just all moving. It's so fun until you mess up. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very hard split. It's definitely my worst movement split. Oh, all right. Optimization. We uh, will now be moving towards the uh, infamous jellyfish known as Umu, where uh, which uh, could swing this the other way if Guanqi is unlucky, really unlucky, or messes up. But obviously, I would uh, I would hope I don't comms curse. Ooh, left taking an unfortunate hit from a grass dropping. I cross dropping. <laughs> um, so the challenge here is don't get skated challenge. Yes. In parentheses, impossible. Um, and for anyone who doesn't know what that means, can you uh, elaborate? So basically, right. I am known for just getting hit 18 times on the way to Umu. Um, so whenever I'm calming it, I just pass it down by accident to the runners. But it seems that Lep... Oh wait, no. It seems like Gwonky avoided my curse, which is good to see. Yeah. Gwonky with best RNG possible could be getting a 2359 here on the move, which... Good start, but... Okay, no, looks like it's most likely not an extra. Very good RNG so far. Yeah, good RNG can make it a reasonable 31 pace again. It does hit the 3 to 1 damage cycle perfectly. Very nice. And gets good RNG short attack. And. Okay, second best RNG from coming out from Gwonki here. Lep about to do his first damage cycle. Finish it cleanly. And Wonky nice. barely gets over. it. Okay, so she's gonna have to have a really good late game and a good THK, but 31 is very possible here. Thank Lep. you so much for the raid, uh, Calamity. What do you see? Thank you, thank you. Very nice. Welcome, everyone. This is a very exciting ah, race here uh, between Lep and Wonky. Yeah, so. Left on high 1x pace, Guanqi on high 31 pace, with both very good late games, assuming that. Oh yeah, both of these runners have grinded late games so much. I know that uh, when Guanqi was originally grinding for uh, world record a while back, that was the, the point that uh, she consistently would save time, a lot of time on, compared to the old world record. Guanqi just like change the movement for like your early game doesn't matter and just get a good late game because in her 3215 run right 
her um, early game was 16 seconds off of test at Watcher Nights, if I remember correctly. Yeah, something like that. And then she just saved all that time, which is... Yeah, despite Pest's world record also having an insanely good uh, HK fight at the end as well. Both runners will be uh, doing uh, one of the also more fun movement sections here, which is uh, leaving teachers' archives. It's so good. Yeah. And we'll be heading into QGA, which is the final, like, difficult trick of the run. Little low from Guanqi, but does make it across. Very nice first try. Okay, that was a 137 QGA. I mean, a 138. That was very solid. Yeah. Alright, let me moving in. His first try Looks is good. Mm -hmm. Makes it. Very nice. We love to see it. Guanqi um, will be moving into the Petra Arena here, which is one of the things that can go wrong, but... Right. No. Ah! Right. I'm sorry, and that's my fault. Oh no. I, I cursed her. That's like a solid that's... four seconds. That's yeah. Solid. That is very painful to see. Lep going for the slightly riskier uh, one slash into or nail cancel on the first one and does hit the double. So makes that definitely going to make up some time here. The thing about one slash, if the Petra just goes high instantly, you can just not get it. Yeah. So. I believe that is reactable though from my uh, recent testing is that if you see the the mantis spawn in fast you just don't go for it you could do yeah makes sense but then you like lose time earlier from like getting more souls so i don't know yeah it's, it's only about 0.1 though for one extra hit of soul uh either way though looking very clean so far in the trap bench from both runners time Lep is made up. Okay, so Lep is only behind 12 seconds now. Yeah, compared to the uh, 19 at the start of the split. So it has made up for about 7 seconds, which is a lot. Alright, Distant Village, very clean from Guanqi. Not gonna see a fall today. Uh, Guanqi might not be going for Den Koda. As Sawa mentioned, she's 4 HP. Lep Oh Ooh, no! No! Lap! Oh, that's yeah, I, so I did sad. not mean. I did not mean to curse that. I'm so sorry. I I was referring to the fact that Wonky fell earlier in the run she had today. Oh no! Oh no! I haven't seen anyone do that in so long. One Me HP. Oh! Oh, oh no. no! Dice and has to. Has to not only How go back to get the shade, has to fall intentionally in Distant Village to get his shade. Oh no. Know? That's so sad, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I did not see though. Was anyone paying attention to Quanky <laughs> at, at that point? Uh, he did not cut out. Did do it? Did not. Did not. Okay, cool. Let's go down to one HP here, so we'll have to uh, avoid damage tanking on the last devout. It's a quick first open, but ooh, gets a bit over eager and slashed it early. Left also. Really left. Uh, missed QGA on the way back as well. Yeah, so for Wonky to 31 at this point, it would just need an unreasonably fast THK, which won't happen, unfortunately. Yeah, I think I think even at that point, I don't I don't think this is 31 able anymore. Sadly, I I don't think you can get the last two splits in, in 305. A that's 305 faster. is like that's that's like both com subs combined pretty much. Actually, no, that's that, that's a 302. Yeah, so you need you need you need like a a 33 133 scream split into a 131 HK5, which is just so unreasonably fast. 
Yes, especially considering the fact that, for reference, um, I think... Does anyone else have a 131 besides Jokul? Uh, uh, and then, I, like, the Comstop? I have a low 132. Yeah, but even there, so the fact yeah. that most runners, most top runners have like a 132 ish as their gold. Just to put so, it into perspective. I mean, we could see comps up to HK, who knows? True. So, there's always a chance. Quonky will be uh, doing the, the fire bow, on which we saw mm -hmm. earlier in the kink station. Uh, it does also save uh, a lot of time in Distant Village. And will now be making her way over to THK, so uh, can we get some uh, hollow decent chat? For a uh, good pace, possible, actually, possible PB pace at least. If this is a uh, 32, it could be under 32 or 3, for sure. Okay. Um... It was just so funny to me that lab inventory dropped in Distant Village. Yeah, <laughs> that's oh. not something I've ever seen yeah. before. <laughs> Certainly. Where is... Oh, you got a shade, okay. There yeah. is two breakable walls here. I don't know why Team Cherry decided to do this to us, but... I've seen many people, like, break the first wall and just like, Oh, I'm good, and then the spiders just fall... Just fall on you. Not fall, but attack you as you're trying to break the second one, and it's pain. Yeah. All right, everyone in chat, pray for no parries. Yeah, I need to one twenty nine here to thirty one. Get okay, second dash, second double. Got oh, another one, but that was a teleport, so it didn't have enough soul to get a double there. Yeah, it's unfortunate. That. And another double missed due to uh, the stagger count being exactly uh, enough that it staggered on the first one. But keeps getting dashes. Nice. Another dash. Yeah, practice too. Energy oh, energy. that's already a self stab. That is insanely fast. Did she get first scream skip? Yes. Oh, wow. I believe so. She does get an it. unfortunate bounce attack though. We hate to see it. But, Ooh. get the explosion Ooh. attack. You Needs love to, kill to see that. 35 here, the 31. It won't happen, but maybe PB is possible. Scream? It's Scream Skip. Can you still kill at 37? Oh! Oh, no. No. Oh, so close. That's Just gonna be barely, a barely though, that is. Wow. Insanely that is impressive. Deep. GG. Wonky. <laughs> That's the second fastest race time. I love how all top three runners have the fastest race times. Uh, the race times you have a lot of the video for 6, 12, and 3, 2, 5. And it was a 3208 or an 09 or 11, I don't remember. Yeah, that's just a that, really good race time. That is insanely impressive, yeah. 134 THK, wow. Yeah, one. <laughs> Pretty good, pretty good. No, not not that bad. Could be a bit better. Yeah. Well, Lep finally uh, managed to get through and uh, get through uh, Beast Stun and finishes off Hera. Will now be uh, moving towards THK himself. I mean, if you consider what happened, this is still a really impressive pace from Lep. Everything has been good except rafters and the death. Very true, yeah. Everything else has been really on point. Even even with the rafters mess up, it was still a very low 32 pace. That just shows like the consistency of these yeah. two runners. Up, on, up until that fall, they uh, they were definitely at a point where they could have been within a few seconds of each other. Maybe it's because Lep is a little tired, but I don't know. Everything else was fine, so... Yeah, I guess we'll have to ask after the race if uh, he thinks that may have affected his performance. That DV fall was just so unfortunate, like... 
Yeah. Blame Marcus. I'm down. Marcus, I'm I can't sorry. Okay. Can't believe you've done this. I was just gonna make a make a point about the fact that, uh, like I mentioned, that Funky fell. Uh, I believe it was earlier today in the, uh, the run she posted. It's 4 a.m. for a lap, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really late. Alright. Yeah, more Hollow Bees in chat. Very nice. Hollow Bees and buy one, get one free. So this is a very reasonable 35 pace. Yeah, I mean, this is impossible for it not to be a 35 on less left eyes, which, you know, <laughs> I hope I can, I, don't, I hope I don't have that level of power to comp curse that. I mean, you have a lot of power, Marcus, but... <laughs> okay, yeah, getting a lot of dashes too, yeah. As you can see, the RNG is set for each day, like we're seeing the same RNG in practice that we're seeing in the run. This is true, I can confirm because I finally uh, got a couple good runs before this one myself, so... For any... Okay, uh, uh let... I think it was a misclick because you... Can you get a frame 1 dash and then get it? You can, yes. It's possible oh. to skip, but I don't think that's something you'd go for, most likely, unless... Yeah, it's, uh, it's not. Ooh. I thought oh. it wasn't possible, I've never gotten it. Um, left getting a couple spits in the corner. Um, for that, you can either try to dodge or decode those. If you have an overflow of soul, it's just pure, just screwed. Yeah, it does get the nice, uh, fountain slash explosion attack as well. Hits the screen. And, and that's started. GG. GG's to left. It was like a 34 flat scream, so we'll see what the THK is. Should be a 142, 143. Yeah, yeah, just a really yeah. good raise. That was really exciting to see. THK, by the looks of it. Alright, let's see if we can both get, get both of them in here for a post-game interview. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really good race. I'm glad I woke up for this. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely uh, very good. Hello? Hello? Too <laughs> Hello? I am sad about the ending of this race a bit. No. I'm not like sad that I got a good time, but I, I wish that it would not have ended with luck falling this village. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was very unfortunate. I'm very sorry, Lep, I may have comms cursed you accidentally. Just yeah, this is definitely Marcus. your fault. I, I take yeah. no responsibility for my actions. Yeah. Yeah. All my Ooh. fault. I wanna I wanna talk about the beginning of that race for a second because I had been doing. Good. Well, I had been doing like, runs the last like, today and yesterday and the day before, basically. Right. And I have not gotten like a single 32. Like, I, I literally will have every single pace without error. Like, every run I start, I don't even reset in VS. It's just 31 pace in the Watcher Knights. And then it either dies to Watcher Knights or Raptors or slowly dissipates in endgame to a bunch of silly mistakes. Um, but this one was like just on par with that. I was like actually on the better side all of those so i was like easy 31 pace it was actually a 1251 dream though um i don't know what calm said it was something higher but it was it was I, I quite it was insane yeah yeah that, that's just really good uh, and then, was did you, my watch and let me check well it was, it was really it was really bad rng yeah um, i think i think you're uh yeah you had a very bad chandelier and then uh 228 as well. yeah 220 or 128 sorry so that's like so, plus 13 on a good time. It was totally really good time. Fight. Because anything sub 30 is very good 31 pace. That's like a 110 fight ish. No, like a total. Like oh, exiting. Oh, uh, it was a 1638. It was not 31 pace. Well, I guess it technically was if I played like dumb, but I did play 38. dumb. 
I thought it was 1628. It was a 1638. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I heard you say like 1628. This is insane. Like 31.4x base. I was like, I cannot 31 this. I'm sorry. I guess. I could have read this. This was almost just. Okay. I was not like expecting like that thing, the Petro like... Arena and like one other thing, and boom, it's a 31. Well, no, it wasn't even the Petro Arena. It was, or I guess Petro Arena for that, but it still would have PB'd without after Petro Arena. I didn't realize that the run was only plus 0.6 after that. And my din is a time to save split, but I just had such a bad din. It was perfect up until I lost a bunch of health on the third and fourth spider because I got um, some yeah. hard positions to deal with. And I didn't more as well about just, you know, uh, Lep's run as well, which uh, oh, yeah. was very, uh, it was very good as well too just a little both i mean both of you were so even this was such a treat to watch both of you got very similar rng in early game and were just like a little bit apart uh but but left what what do you feel like ended up happening was it just is it too late for you or, right now or do you just was it just you know one of those things that happens um, that up messing up in the end i think it's a really good example of the different types of mistakes that can happen because in a lot of instances like it's a tiny mistake but you only lose the amount of time of the mistake right like if i jump a little late then i lose the amount of time that i didn't spend jumping but what happened here was the same level of execution mistake like i missed a buffered jump on the platform but then because i missed that jump i fall all the way down and because i'm in low health i die and so i have to get my shade like some mistakes have a lot of chain reaction there, and it was just like the worst possible chain reaction that I could have done at the time. That is probably the single biggest like mistake plus, I guess, dying. So like two mistakes, I guess. But like to be fair, you haven't like practiced that room, so like why would any why would you practice that room? Yeah, like I just had um, no idea. I was pretty proud when I went back to get my shade. I kind of zoomed through that room. Was... That room is really fun. <laughs> I've actually just randomly done it like in practice when I'm just messing around and procrastinating on doing things. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, like. That's probably the single biggest time loss mistake you can make in this. Because yeah. the end of Trap Inch is the longest death in the run, pretty much. Um, yes. And it, especially it just... if it's down there. Like, if yeah, it's down there. Yeah, from uh, what's your name? Maybe Hornet. Oh, yeah, Hornet. Mm. Actually, Hornet might be as well. Oh, Watcher Knight. I guess that exists. Yeah. The Hornet is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, only you, two and a half, I don't know right? if you had if you had agreed to Nail Walk or not, but Watcher Knight's without I... Nail Walk is definitely. Most. Yeah, oh yeah, that's the worst. But I assume that we wouldn't have nail walked, I'm sure. Since oh, we wouldn't have. Interesting. I, 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 know, I, know. <laughs> I assumed we would have. That's what I was saying. Oh, we would have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because we're yeah. both. Yeah, yeah, That's um, what I would assume, too. Okay. Like, oh, at, this, at this level, at this level, if if you die to Watcher Knights, like, the other person should just win. And if they don't, then they also probably died to Watcher Knights. So I don't think they would have any issue with nail walking. Yeah, that was pretty much the only thing. <laughs> like, uh, you know, after you after you die after falling into it's like the only possible thing that could happen is okay i hope i don't hope walkie died but like that's the only <laughs> hope i have so i have to keep yeah. playing yeah because that's possible um but yeah you're absolutely right like a mistake like that is just not yeah. recoverable. oh i was sense. i got a little bit salty after um after watcher nights because i had been playing almost no mistakes like the only mistake i can recall in all of early game for me pretty much was like one hard fall on the way that the double spike and like that trying to jump up at the end of Mana's Claw. Other than that, it was like almost no mistakes all the way through, and then I just got the worst imaginable RNG on, uh, <laughs> on one, on two rooms. Literally only the big room at the start of Chandelier and Watcher Knights. And I just instantly lost my entire lead that I got, and I was like five <laughs> seconds behind. Yeah. I was like, I literally played so perfectly. Got bad RNG in two rooms, and I am now five seconds behind left when I was like seven seconds ahead. Like, how does that happen? Like, I, I literally was yeah. ahead, and now I'm behind really with just uh, bad RNG. Like, did you see what happened with the guy? Like, I fell. The guy, oh, I was not really the guy. So, um, at the start of the big chandelier room, there's those two guys on the first row. Um, oh, okay. The right one ran right, and then I did the sticky ceiling thing, but I didn't get a sticky ceiling. So I got hit, but then he ran off the edge and he fell at the exact same speed as me. So he hit me again, but then he somehow, <laughs> he somehow made it around the elevator. So I had to stop and make sure I wasn't falling on him because he was literally on the next row. Yeah. <laughs> right, like, yeah. He just followed me. I don't even know how that was allowed. You almost hit the elevator. <laughs> um, yeah, the, well, the resting grounds wall cling storage also was a couple seconds of time saved there for. Yeah, uh, that was the other one. I have not been hitting that today. I think that's like such a daily thing. Like it's either every single it time is. in one day or literally not at all that day. Yeah, very much so. I'm curious, Lep, what was your chandelier split? 
Because it looked really good. Lit? Like the segment yeah. time or the split time? Uh, segment. Segment. Both, uh, honestly. Let's see. Segment. I mean, was... but that's where it made up his lead. After There's 213 the... segment, 1512. That's pretty good. It was yeah. not bad. Yeah, I, things mostly went well. I think um, I made a mistake in lever room. And yeah, like, I'm yeah, curious on why you fireballed. When? Uh, going to rafters in Lever Lad's room. Oh, I felt so smart about that. I It's because um, it was to avoid RNG, but it was also because I needed 17 Geo. Ah, uh, so okay. So I was like, okay, I can kill them and get 18, and then I don't have to worry about them all the way back. That makes sense. Uh, um, it probably wasn't the best way to do it. I should have hit the lever first. but. Yeah, because then you didn't have enough soul for the backup. First Which I thought I did because I knew I had so much extra. Um, yeah. I mean, I was coming. You need a six coming in. Yeah, five. <clears throat> I'm also curious about your Guzma strat. Is it like a a mix of magmas or because you do yeah. like one at the beginning? So magma strat is to delay your fireball indefinitely, basically, like whenever it's opportune. Um, mm -hmm. And I was not having any success with that, especially for situations where Grez flies at you because you have to be running away constantly. So if you stop the fireball, you just get hit. Yeah, that's my, that was my issue with it. Yeah. yeah, and she, I mean, if she's flying up or down, you can go under or over respectively. But um, basically, it was just fitting all the fireballs in before she starts moving as best I can while still taking advantage of the, the max range now. Uh, uh, so I've been pretty pleased with that strat. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Any uh, final words from the runners or any questions from chat? Maybe we can take before. Uh... Um, I I just want to say, I am just flabbergasted that I actually won this race because <laughs> oh, I. Yeah. It you may seem it. like it. So from like the average like HK community member, you might look at like Lep and Gwonky and it's like, yeah, Lep's like a few seconds faster and has you know a little better some of the best, but the mental like giant that is your next match is against Lep and he just got a 31 in the last race is like <laughs> uh, like what? <laughs> like what do I even yeah. do? Like I, I hadn't gotten thirty a 32 in like three days like I just was not getting 32s I was getting paces but I kept making giant mistakes um but yeah I I'm just blown away that I won this so yeah. I'm, I'm I'm pretty happy it is um unfortunate the way that it ended but you know it, yeah, I'm extremely it... happy that I got this this time actually I, even if I hadn't fallen, for whatever that's worth, it's, I would have been behind by a good like 30 seconds at least. So he uh, definitely just deserved the win of this one for sure. I, I it, is crazy that in this case. it is crazy that Rafters made the difference though. Like literally, as soon as you missed Rafters, you literally could not have, you barely could have gotten a 3205. Yeah. Or actually, I don't even know if it was the one up. It, it was. It was really bad. I, two X pace, maybe high one X pace. I would also like to acknowledge all of the folks in the U.S. that um, set alarms to wake up for this. Oh yeah! I mean, oh shout out to yeah, shout out to everyone watching. Thank you for watching. Yeah. This is like a Japan evening, so and also shout yeah. out to Lep for actually scheduling at this time because he was like, yeah, I don't have to be DJing for this one. I was like, wait, what? Like, no, I, <laughs> I, I, I should have thought about it more. Um, I misunderstood a little bit, but yeah, I think that it was we were gonna have to make some compromise because of the huge time difference. So. Yeah, this was really convenient for me, so I do appreciate it. And also, yeah, thank no, you for the race streamers, uh, okay. Sawayoshi, and thank you for yeah, the comments. Yeah. yeah, really, it's awkward timing for everybody involved. Thank you much to our uh, currently 111 viewers, which is a uh, surprising amount for this time of day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. very nice. <laughs> thank you to yeah, thank you to everyone in chat. Thank you to the runners. Thank you to my fellow Ready. commentator Skate, and thank you Love to the streamer Sawayoshi. And uh, yeah. Um, there is no, I don't believe there is a, like, any, a person who can raid, but I will just paste this here if I, so, like, well, yeah. because that is a, there's another more HK content on Pantheon 5 ILs. We will have the final race of this round, um, tomorrow night, I guess, or I guess it depends on where you're from. Uh, for me, it's, uh, or e either way, it's in 14 hours from now, I believe, if my map is correct. It's going to be Insomnia versus Axel, which are also both up 2-0. Oh. So that's going to be a very interesting match. That is the, the fourth and final match of the to see uh, who uh, will go up 3-0 and be secured for a playoff spot, which uh, I guess I can also say congratulations to Guanqi for securing playoffs. Oh, yeah. 
and I hope I will surely see you in, in the bracket level. We, uh, maybe face off again unless you lose to uh, yeah. Stink Sight 2. And uh, they're there on the radar. <laughs> good, good luck to the 2 and 1 runner. I <laughs> have to go against Lep next round. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I guess if we are uh, ready to end, end it there, I guess that's that's it for us. Thank you, everyone, so much for showing up. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, thank you, guys. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye.